All right, so let's do the integral of e to the power of the square root of x dx. We can do the substitution, u equals the square root of x, which means du is equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of x dx. If we multiply both sides of this equality by 2 square root of x, we get dx equals 2 square root of x du. Since we set u equal to the square root of x, we can rewrite 2 square root of x as 2u, so this is just equal to 2u du. So now this becomes the integral of 2u e to the u du, since dx is equal to 2u du, and e to the power of the square root of x becomes e to the u, since we set u equal to the square root of x. So to do the resulting integral of 2u e to the u, we need to use integration by parts. Since we already used the variable u, we can't use that again, so for the integration by parts, we'll use the variables u hat and v. So I've listed the integration by parts formula for u hat and v on the side. So we should let u hat equal 2u and dv equal e to the u du. This means du hat is equal to 2 and v is equal to e to the u. So if we apply the integration by parts formula, this integral is just equal to u hat v, which is 2u e to the u, minus the integral of v du hat, which is minus the integral of 2e to the u du. The integral of 2e to the u is still 2e to the u, so this expression becomes 2u e to the u minus 2e to the u plus some constant c. If we substitute the square root of x back in for the u, this expression becomes 2 square root of x e to the square root of x minus 2e to the square root of x plus c, which is the final answer. So that's basically the crux of it. You start off by substituting u equals the square root of x, and then use integration by parts.